Yo, yo, guys, what's good? Welcome back to another episode of Kay's World. As always, my name is Kay. Big up to all my returning subscribers that are coming through. And shout out to all the new people that are watching for the first time. Don't forget to hit that sub button. You don't have to do it yet, but let's just see how this goes. As always, I just want to start things off by showing you what I'm wearing today and what I'm rocking. I've got my Daniel Bryan Yes Movement t-shirt on. Last bit of merch he released before he was exiled. Yeah, exiled out of SmackDown, I guess. So, bye, bye, Brian. Who knows? Maybe he'll end up on Raw. Maybe he'll come to AEW. Like, I'm excited to see what happens next with him. But I just wanted to shout my favourite, Daniel Bryan. On my legs, I'm rocking the Edwin Tyrell pant. I would get up to show you guys, but as you know, it's in the last couple of videos. It makes no difference. My camera doesn't pick it up. So I've got those on today and then finished off nicely. Got my Guns N' Roses Appetite for Destruction Nike like SB Dunk Low on. So obviously just keeping that purple theme going. This shoe was actually subject of a conversation on a podcast I was on earlier this week. Yeah, it was filmed earlier this week or recorded earlier this week. It probably comes out later on next week or the week after. That'll be on my social media channels. Uh, podcast was based around my first pair of shoes. Obviously the Guns N' Roses weren't my first, but it was a very significant shoe and turning point in collecting dunks so just wanted to pay a little bit of homage for that next week's video will be about those to tie in with the release of that but i've been wearing them since because i've just been talking about them a lot so yeah that was what i'm rocking today i've been rotating through a lot of purple kicks whether it's been the acgs the guns and roses my size exclusive rebox and the goofies so i just want to do a little spotlight on a shoe that i think is overlooked and doesn't get the love it deserves so as I used to do in my first couple of videos to kind of pull out overlooked bangers. This is one of those. It's from 2009, Blue Box Edition, Nike SB, Goofy Boy Lows, in homage to the Big Brother magazine from 1990, which would have a mascot who would be typically dressed in stereotypical 90s skate aesthetics. So whether it was a tall t-shirt, big baggy pants, and a pair of skate shoes. Um, he's also featured on the insole of the shoe, which is popping up here. Uh, heavy influences from the original colorway of the mascot, and they've translated the character nicely onto this shoe. I don't actually know much about the character or the magazine or ad campaign itself. Just know that they ended up making a wavy shoe, and it's cool that they paid homage to OG skate roots. So yeah, uh, transferring that color onto the trainer, you've got that chutney orangey yellow, which is really cool. They've used that on this nice premium suede, which is on the toe box, carried through to the side on the side panel, and they've used it on the heel as well, which is really cool. Uh, it works really nicely against this premium denim, which has been dyed purple. So you've got this nice purple denim, which frays the more you wear them. As you can see, considering how old they are, they're in pretty good nick. Normally I'm a massive advocate for rock them, wear them, but I, mean, I wear these quite lightly during the summer just because it's gonna be a difficult shoe to replace. As I said in my last video, it's a killer kick. One of those ones that um, I know I say a lot, but definitely one of those ones that I wish I doubled up on. Um, I'm glad I got the chutney laces in them, which, which bang against the denim. Yeah, all round solid kick, purple and gold, easy color jams, easy to match, real sick shoe. The denim is one of those, the more you wear it, the more it frays. You can see a little bit of fraying. I have had them for years. I have worn them quite lightly, but often, if that makes sense. Um, I don't want them to fray, fray up too much. As I did mention in my last video, it's a difficult shoe to replace now. It's a shoe that was overlooked at the time because it was sitting on shelves for ages. I was stoked to grab it then, and I'm glad to have it still in my rotation. You can see over the years, it's got a little bit of denim rub on the heel or on the sides even, but it's a sick kick. That's always been in my rotation. A little bit more lately, with the purple vibe that I've got going on lately. But yeah, it's a sick kick. I can't wait to piece it together with a hard outfit. I'm gonna link up with the boys today, rock it to work and see what happens. There you go, James. They're a bit small. <laughs> they move. Come on. What? Come on, you go to the fucking gym. 
fucking dead, mate. Dunks are dead. We're all going. <laughs> Currently waiting on Andy, gonna go shoot the fit. Oh, there he is. Hey. Just about to go shoot this fit. Yo. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Yo guys, what's good? We're back on the shop floor, so that's another week done. I've got my vintage Carhartt jacket on. My Obey Peace, Justice and Peace, Justice and Equality t-shirt. A <laughs> sick message, bought it in both colorways. The Edwin Tyrell pant, which you can now fully see. Oh, to finish it off with the Goofy Boy Lowe's. So yeah, thanks for joining me again, guys. Cool, so that's another week done. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. As I mentioned earlier, anybody new to the channel that's watching for the first time, I hope you liked what you saw and I hope you smash that sub button. All of my other regulars, keep liking, keep sharing, keep showing me love. You guys are the best. Next week, I'll be back with the Guns N' Roses video. <laughs> Hopefully back with a new theme music and vibe. I've been working on something sick for you guys. Here's a little snippet of what's to come. <laughs> But that's not the end result, so very excited to show you guys the new direction I'm taking the channel in and the new vibe I'll be putting out. As always, big up, big love. You guys are the best. Stay safe. Hopefully see you guys soon. All love. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Peace.